Okay, so what is computer graphics? So very simple one line answer to this question is the goal of generating an image or a sequence of images. So as we all know, an image consists of pixels. So if you look at in the left hand image on the screen, so this is a usual picture or an image that you would see. And when you zoom in to a very specific small area, what you will see is a series of small squares filled with different colors. And that's, that's what we call pixels in an image. And all these pixels can be filled with different colors to give rise to whatever kind of image or picture that you want. So basically an image is represented as a two dimensional grid of pixels, each filled with different colors. And the goal is to, to uh, depict or synthesize realism in the scene. Basically, you don't want to take out your camera and capture the scene. What the goal of computer graphics is to try to recreate the real world that we see around or even beyond that, something which is not seen in the real world, but which is just a matter of imagination. So uh, let me give you a very basic uh, uh, idea about what does image synthesis is all about. So we basically we want to mimic the process of taking a photograph. So what happens in the real world is you take out your camera and you go uh, and take a picture. So what happens is like there is a light source somewhere, which is a, usually the sun or there are, if you're inside the room, there are different tube lights or all those things. And there are some objects. So these objects interact with the light and they reflect the light towards uh, uh, your eyes or the camera. So the way this light and object interact is something that uh, happens in the physical world. And then as the light rays enter the camera, they, they enter the image plane or the, the sensor of the camera and that's what is the photograph of the scene is formed. So to formalize it differently, so what you have is you have a geometric model, which means that there is some mathematical model that you, that we use to uh, define the ge geometry of the object. So for example, if you have a cricket ball, you will have a sphere defining the geometry of that ball. And then you have the lighting in the scene, which is let's say the sun or the outside lighting. Then you, you define the material properties of your object. So for example, if you have a new cricket ball, it will be shiny. So we call such objects like a, uh, like a specular object and maybe it falls somewhere here in which you see some small highlights due to the shine. And once we have all this, we pass this information to a rendering algorithm. So what does rendering mean? So rendering is a term used to define the process of gathering all these physical models and material properties and then forming an image out of it. So this is the term, this is what the term rendering in computer graphics is all about. Basically it takes in the, geom the geometry, the lighting, the material properties, and then it forms the image. So this is something like, uh, loosely speaking, it is something like the camera that you have in the real world. That it, given all the information, it gives you the image. And that's how we call, get this rendered image. So as you see, the model consists of certain points and edges. And given these material properties and lighting, you get this kind of an image. Now, more generally speaking, so instead of, so computer graphics is about images. But if you want to synthesize videos, which you see all the time around you, that you have videos instead of just the images. So uh, talking more generally, we have this general 3D graphics pipeline. So as we saw, saw on the last slide, we need some models to determine the geometry of the object, the light, the surface, uh, or the object properties, how this light is reflected. And now in addition, we require animation on top of it. Like how, these, how do these objects move in time? Because when you want to make a movie, you will see the objects moving around in space. You you won't you don't want to capture a static space for a, a movie. You you can get a picture for that. So what, this is what animation means that you want to animate those objects and move these objects in time. And then again, the final pass is the rendering pass in which you collect all the uh, surface properties and the lighting and generate the final image from your camera, from a virtual camera, what we call. So I hope this uh, this very basic process is clear to everyone. Yeah. Anybody has any questions? Any anybody has any questions? So. Okay. So uh, so carry on. Uh, carry on. Okay. So 
Okay, so what are the applications of computer graphics? So as most of you know that movies is like one big application where computer graphics is being heavily used these days. So it is primarily used for special effects, which means that you want to generate effects which look very realistic and which and the normal users or the normal viewers are not able to distinguish between what is real and what is generated using a computer. So these are called special effects what we see in movies. So for example, there is a recent very famous movie came out this year of Star in which you see that there are so many different kind of alien characters which sort of look like human people but they are very different and the details and everything is so realistic that you can't believe that these creatures do not exist. And then there is there is the other side of computer graphics, which is to generate animated or cartoon like things. So, uh, I mean, you must have seen so many cartoons like Tom and Jerry, and so uh, and uh, Mickey Mouse and all those. So those are all called animated. Th those are all animated movies, and there are cartoon like characters. So we can have that in two dimensional or three dimensional. So like Tom and Jerry and everything was 2D and animated movies, and we have uh, uh, Toy Stories and. Uh, Hanuman, so these are all like 3D animated uh, movies. Then there is another aspect of video games. So now these nowadays video games are also picking up very fast, and there is like very high uh, high uh, quality computer graphics being used. So in many games, you can see uh, there are like many natural lighting effects and very nicely uh, shadows and all those things, which are which were not those which were not present like uh, say 10 years back. So video games is a very upcoming field in which you basically try to put as much as possible. And the problem with video games is like you want, because you are playing that game, so you want everything to be happen at the same time as you're doing. For movies, you can, everything is done offline in which you can spend hours and hours and days to produce a certain scene. But for video games, everything is have to be there right in front of you. And there are many other applications which I'll just quickly gloss over. So they can be used in medical simulations or visualization in scientific fields, like how to visualize certain data and all that. And some computer-aided designing in which you can design models in a computer. And uh, and there are other applications in image processing and also in photography. So computer graphics is not a secluded or a separate field in itself. It is, it is a definitely a big area but it also shares many of an aspects with very uh, with many different fields so for example image processing so what is image processing